in Ghost uh, came into my, where I work and demanded money from me. I said, well, what's this for then? He said, I'm here to offer you protection. Oh, God. Uh, welcome to Quantum Cafe number three. I'm very happy to introduce my uh, co-hosts. We have Mandy and Elisa. You've probably seen on some of our spiral episodes. Uh, you might recognise uh, Mandy's nostrils from the Wimmering Manor episode, the one that's got 32,000 hits. How many? 32,000 <laughs> hits so far, yes. Um, I believe some fetish websites have actually been set up. <laughs> uh, I've come across a few, or so I've been told, anyway. <laughs> oh no! Yes, so... Uh, <laughs> So anyway, uh, welcome to Quantum Cafe, um, let's get on with it. <laughs> so, what's first, uh, Andy? Um, Tim Brown from The Pigs has just released his new vlog, Random Tangents 18. Very well presented by uh, Tim. If you've seen them, they're really, really funny. I thoroughly recommend going by uh, The Pigs website or on the YouTube channel. Sorry, I'm going to do this. It's there. Um, sorry, everybody. Um, and uh, check it out. Okay, those who've attended uh, Dr. Kieran O'Keefe from Steve Parsons uh, School of Parapsychology courses, there's a very interesting course coming up on Saturday the 4th of December uh, from 10 till 4 at Conway Hall in London. That's going to be a paracoustic study day. Uh, it should be very interesting, a study focused on all aspects of sound and it's linked with paranormal investigations. Uh, topics will include infrasound, EVP, modern gadgets, refreshments will be provided all the day long. Uh, tickets are £30. And you can go to the Parapsychology website, which you can see here, uh, and book your tickets. So I very much recommend that one. Well, talking of parapsychology, here's Dr. Kieran O'Keefe's Paranormal Tips number two. Hello, I'm Dr. Kieran O'Keefe. As a parapsychologist and paranormal investigator who's been involved in the field for over 20 years, I'm frequently asked, has anything ever happened to me? Well, we're talking in excess of 1500 investigations now and on one particular investigation in which I was part of a TV show I investigated the SS Great Britain in Bristol. This is an old ship that was used to transport people from England to America but also England to Australia and at one point I conducted a lone vigil in the lower class accommodation area of the ship. As I walked into the lower class accommodation area, I stopped, I looked into the camera that I was holding at the time, and I genuinely said, I wish there was a better word to describe how I feel now, but I can just simply say, I was spooked. Simple as that. I visited some extremely scary locations throughout the world, and I've never been spooked, and yet here, at what seemed like quite an innocent, old 100, 200 year old ship in a port in Bristol, I was spooked. And at the time I had no explanation for it. And even now, it does make me think, is there something else out there? Okay, we're just going to do a quick couple of shout outs uh, to some of our friends. Uh, some say hello to Nori Miles. Hello to Cal Cooper. And hello to Lee Gibbons. Love ya. Cheers. Okay, what's next, Mandy? Well, this month's interview in Silent Voices magazine is with Mr Colin Fry, and here is the website. So go and check that out, Sharon Barr's Silent Voices website. Okay, many of you who go by the Phantom Force website may have heard of Stavros Akora. So, see? See the reaction they get? Stavros Akora. Now some people say it's a myth, some people say it's just fabrication. But I don't think it is. And here's Chris Ellis Stansfield to tell you all about it. What do you mean you've never heard of Stavros Sakura? The greatest medium in the universe. Stavros Sakura, super medium. Stavros Sakura is almost definitely the greatest medium in the universe. There's, there's no doubt about that. He is also the most fantastic dancer on earth. He's a great guy. Um, he's, he's a man after my own heart. He is amazing, that's it. 
is very controversial, which I like. I've never worked with a medium yet that is as accurate as Stavros Sakura. He's, he's different to so many mediums. Um, I don't think he's particularly into the love and light side of things. Ever since the first video went online showing Stavros doing one of his magical dances, um, he's had people all over the world trying to copy that. Um, only one man's ever come close, uh, Mark English of Spiral Paranormal. How's that? Yeah, he's good. He is good. Now there are rumours that it's actually Mark Webb, paranormal investigator Mark Webb, who dresses up as Stafford Sakura. It's not. Now we've obtained some exclusive video from Chris Ellis Stansfield to prove otherwise. So check this out. Hey Mark, if you can sit in this one. Yep. <laughs> I'm here today to prove that I am not. This See, now, Mark, that's why he's a bloody idiot. He's a dirty, dirty, disgusting, disgusting skeptic. He's just come he on just to abuse. He just to abuse me. That I do. And he hasn't got a bloody word. He can't it's prove a thing. Ghosts ghost 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 don't exist. Do and the sooner you accept that, the better. Bloody ugly. Bloody fool. And you're uglier than I am. So, I'm going to issue a challenge to Stavros Akora. I've got the groove, you haven't got the groove, and I challenge you to a groove competition. The gauntlet has been put down. Okay, here's some uh, latest trailers from uh, Chris Holton from Haunted Earth. Uh, we've also got the trailer for the Merchant House Museum that I visited in uh, New York. Sorry. Um, and also for Phantom Forces Episode 2. So uh, check these out. Today I'm at the towns of Missley and Manningtree in Essex on the trail of a notorious character, a man by the name of Matthew Hopkins, who between the years 1645 and 1647 consigned hundreds of people, mostly women, to an early death, having been accused of witchcraft. Travelling to the USA, I take a visit to what is reputed to be the most haunted house in New York, the Merchant's House Museum. Okay, on to Compass Paranormal and some of their upcoming events for November and December. On Saturday the 20th of November they're doing Fort Amherst, which is the location we did for the Help for Heroes charity back in February, and that's with the guest medium. Also on Saturday the 20th of November they're doing Fox Denton Hall with guest medium Barry John. So posh. And, <laughs> and on Saturday the 11th of December, the Old Beneficial School, also with Barry John. Down in Portsmouth, which we did recently, that's a, that's a little location. They've actually booked a load of great new locations uh, for 2011. 
including some old favourites and some new locations as well, but we'll be going to Bulbrook Castle, uh, which we're actually doing on Saturday, uh, Mitchell and Priory and Avenue House in Finchley. So go to the website, uh, check out where their locations are and book your tickets. They're a very, very cool company to do work with. Okay, uh, UK Ghost Nights. I've also got some upcoming investigations for November. Just to give you a little shout out for a few of them, uh, Mandy. On Saturday, the 20th of November, they have the Old Salutation Inn. Try saying that when you're drunk. <laughs> and on the 26th of November, they have the Moat House. That's a very good location. That's a place I've always wanted to do, actually. Um, so, yeah, if you go to the website here, uh, and you can book tickets through them. <laughs> <laughs> hey, girls, what are you laughing at? <laughs> We're laughing at your column in fact. Voices, oh, my comedy column, Confessions of a Paranormal Investigator. <laughs> oh, yeah. Available at All Good News Agents, Ghost Voices Magazine, uh, bi monthly. Okay, while these two are. Um... <laughs> Did you see that, folks? Did you see the way she aired that? Quite have to part with all the time. It's graceful. Um, while... <laughs> while we're talking about Ghost Voices Ooh. Magazine, uh, Jonathan Moss, who writes the Haunted Anniversary column each month, um, also has uh, some evenings uh, for the folks of his hometown in Nuneaton, uh, up in Warwickshire. If you're interested in going to one of his evenings, uh, just contact Jonathan Moss. He's actually on Facebook, uh, like we all are. Uh, oh, you're not, are you? No. She's not on Facebook. Thank you for that. Uh, and he can tell you a little bit more about the uh, upcoming events that he does in his hometown. So that'd be very good. And also check out his column in uh, Ghost Voices magazine, which is very, very interesting indeed. Mandy, what's next, honey? Well, we need to say a very, very big well done to Tim Jones and Light Seekers for oh. raising £300 for Epilepsy Action with a paranormal investigation on the 8th of October. And they are doing two more upcoming charity events which have sold out for children in need and they've raised £1,000. So well done to Tim Jones and Sarah Ketley of Light Seekers. Well done, guys. Fantastic. Uh, lovely, lovely people. Oh, they've very honoured to be on the radio show a couple of weeks ago, so yeah, well done guys, that's really, really cool. Okay, what's coming up on UKPM Radio for November and December? Well, on the 21st of November... She's still so posh. Carol. She's hardly going to suddenly become really common. Oh, I've heard her speak. See her stub her toe. F this, F that, it's disgraceful. Carry anyway, on. on the 21st of November, it's Matt and Mel Moyer, and they are American investigators. And on the 28th of November, it's Wendy Binks. Mm -hmm. You're posh too, actually. No, oh, I am. What are you like? Um, it's 5th of December, like, oh, aren't I? Sorry. 5th of December is uh, Shannon Sylvia. On the 12th of December, it's Medium Angela McGee. And on the 19th of December, um, on the 19th of December, it's Alexandra Holzer. Well, 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 that's very cool. What happened there? You swear, <laughs> that's quite funny. Can you go voice again? I can't. That was really just came out. Really, just rewind and that bit, folks, and you can see that little bit again. That's my EastEnders. That's your EastEnders, is it? Yeah. Cool, plant me up with some pairs, Daniel Kent Road. Are you what? Yeah. Uh, while we're talking about UKPM Radio, I just want to give a big shout out to Gary and Sam Brown, who do some fantastic work uh, in the paranormal field. Um, sometimes they get unnecessary criticism, uh, which is really unfair. I've known them sort of coming up to four years now. Uh, always been totally professional, really dedicated to what they do. So I really want to give a big shout out and keep yes, up the good work. Yes, thank you. Okay, sad news. That's the end of this Quantum Cafe. Or maybe good news to some people who say, oh, I can't, that's 10 minutes for my loved one, get back. Um, <laughs> uh, but we've got a nice uh, drink to your good health. Well, Mandy can't, because obviously she's pregnant, so she's on Coke. Um, no, no, not that, a Coca-Cola. A Coca-Cola, not that Coke, a Coca-Cola. <laughs> Uh, but I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, thank you very much, Mandy and Alisa, for joining me on the sofa. Thank, thank you to you Alan, our us. producer, behind the uh, camera. <laughs> hope you join us next time for our Christmas special, which will be in December, to be a lot of fun. And uh, happy hauntings. <laughs>